Glad to have you with us on College Football Playoff Top 25. I'm Reese Davis, always pleased to be joined by my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and David Pollock, Joey Galloway, and Jesse Palmer. So as we start to break down what they think about the rankings, let's first take a look at the AP Top 10. It is brought to you by Goodyear. Alabama slips up one spot back on top of the polls for the 13th straight year. That is a record and almost twice as long as the second longest streak. Notre Dame leaps to number two. Ohio State at number three, while Clemson slips back from one to four. And you see the rest of the contenders, including Indiana, sitting at 3-0 and and perhaps making a surprise push in the Big Ten. So that's the way the AP voters have it stacked up. Kirk, what's your top six look like? I agree with the AP in the top four. I moved Notre Dame all the way up to two, sitting behind Alabama, uh, Ohio State at three. I moved Clemson to four. Uh, still obviously uh, in striking distance. We talked about that on the show last week, that that game, as big as it was and as much fun as it was to watch, it was not necessarily an elimination game. I guess the real controversy is what you do after those four. Uh, for me, I, I know Florida lost to A&M. A head-to-head wouldn't matter eventually for me. But for now, I just it's about what Florida's doing. Uh, since they lost to A&M, they had the COVID restrictions and everything that went on there. But since then, Reese, Look what they did against Missouri and especially what they did last week to Georgia. So because of the way they're trending, I have them ahead of A&M. In fact, I have BYU still up in my top six. So I would put uh, next two for me, David, would be uh, Florida and then uh, BYU. How can you possibly do that, Kirk? That's not right. They beat them head to head. You can't do that. Never. Stop that. I got um, Bama one. Notre Dame two, Ohio State three. Um, I got Clemson at number four now. At five, by the way, I got A&M, and at six, um, I, I actually went a little bit different. I got BYU at six, continue to be impressed with what they do. By the way, not just physical, but the quarterback. I mean, that offense, I think I like against just about anybody in the country. So I got BYU at six, Jesse. That's my top six. I like it, David. Okay, I got Bama at one. Two, I've got Notre Dame. Really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball, beating Clemson. Ian Book, we saw some plays in the vertical passing game. That was impressive. When I watch Ohio State throw the ball, it looks like routes against air. It looks like there's no pass rush. There's nobody covering. Justin Fields just doesn't miss. Cheating. Clemson's a banged-up team on both sides of the ball. They need this bye week. They need to get healthy. I kept them at four. Uh, Texas A&M, I've got number five, guys. Of course, they beat the Gators, just beat South Carolina 48-3. to That's impressive. Uh, Kellen Mond continues to play good football. And I got the Gators at six. Uh, the win against Georgia was big. I think Kyle Trask, Joey, is playing his way into New York City to be considered a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. And their defense continues to trend these last two games, at least, in the right direction. They're getting better. So my top six uh, looks the same, essentially, as the AP top six. Yeah, I think when you look at the top four, I'm going to skip right past that. I think the only difference that might be there for any of us is I have Ohio State at number two and then Notre Dame at number three. But again, those are interchangeable. I'm going straight to number five. I like the Cincinnati Bearcats and what they're doing. I like the way they run the football. They're a physical football team. Uh, Desmond Ritter is playing better at quarterback, which I think also makes them a different football team. Hey, look, I don't think Desmond Ritter is, is a Trevor Lawrence or, or a Justin Fields, but what he does in that offense, his ability to make plays with his feet, uh, as well as the way he's throwing the ball now. I think that he makes a difference for them. But they might be the best defense in this group that we're talking about. And, and, and I know you don't think of Cincinnati as that team that is going to overpower you uh, defensively, but some of their schemes uh, that they're doing, I, I love watching their defense. And so when I see it, I think that they could hang with any one of these teams. And then I like what Florida's doing with the, the way they, they ran over Georgia and the way Trask played in that game. I got Georgia at number six. I mean, I'm sorry, Florida at number six. What a great teammate Joey Galloway is because a little bit later on in college football playoff top 25, Luke Fickle is going to join us. And I'm going to ask Luke directly if he thinks his team can hang with the upper crust. Galloway, that's the biggest difference among anybody. Got a couple of guys that like BYU, other reward, others rewarding Florida for their move. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.